Welcome to the Tony Love Show with your host, Tony Love. You're listening to the Tony Love Show. My guest today is Miss Donna London. Donna is the owner of Don Janelle Salon, located at 4457 Covington Highway, Decatur, Georgia. Donna, thank you so much for taking time out of your schedule to share some information with us today. And thank you for having me on your show. All right. Um, I just really want to just talk to you, and I want you to be relaxed, and I really just want to have a just a conversation with you about your business because I find your story to be very exciting, and I just want to share it with all the listeners today. Now, how long have you been in the salon business? I've been in the um, in the cosmetology cosmetology industry about 30 years now. Okay. Can you kind of give us a little background? Because I know you're from Guyana and kind of just bring us up to today, like um, from the time you left your country to come in to the States and um, what made you decide to get into the industry? Can you tell us, you know, um, your background, your story? Well, I came, I left Guyana and came to the United States at the age of 19 years old. I had just finished high school, and <laughs> my mother just literally just put me on a plane and sent me to New York, and that's where I started, and, um, you know, coming to a big country like the United States, not not ever looking at TV before in my life, not um, not ever feeling cold in my life, it was like a culture shock when I came and I started in New York and but my love for cosmetology has always been there from the age of nine years old. I came to New York and spent ten years. I spent ten years doing other stuff like working at uh, as a secretary and uh, administrative assistant doing accounting, doing everything that was not really part of me. Right. But all of that <laughs> All of that led me to do what I really wanted to do. And after working in the corporate field for about 10 years, I decided to make that decision to transition and do what I wanted to do. So I enrolled in Wilfred Beauty School in in Brooklyn in 1981, 82. And that's where my cosmetology began. Wow. Okay, so did you work in New York in a salon or uh, did you just start doing it on your own or at home or after beauty school? You know, um, after beauty school, I tried <laughs> to work in a salon and but that didn't work out. But I've always had an entrepreneur spirit because even when I was in um, the corporate field, I used to do other things on the side, like sewing clothes for people, making floral arrangements, making curtains and things of that nature. And so I always had the desire to, you know, do my own thing. So after I left school, after I left beauty school, I went to work at a at the salon as an independent contractor. And that worked a little bit for a while until I branched out to get my own. Mm. Yes. Um, and what caused me to branch out to really do my own, I was at a salon and there was some kind of shady stuff going on that I wasn't really aware of. And when I realized the dangers of it, that motivated me to really you know, get my own environment and I could control. And I started out by, um, I had a brownstone apartment in Brooklyn and I transformed one of the apartments into a cute, beautiful looking salon and that's where I started. 
Wow. Well, if you are just joining us, you're listening to The Tony Love Show. My guest today is Miss Donna London. Donna is the owner of Don Janelle's Salon in Decatur, Georgia, 4457 Covington Highway. Um, Donna, now when you were in New York, bring us to Atlanta because I understand um, just over the years, you have an awesome salon. You've been featured in different magazines for your work and things of that nature. So can you bring us from New York to Atlanta? Yeah, well, from New York. Yeah, I had reached a ceiling where I felt like I wanted to spread my wings. I wanted to expand some more. And, you know, being there in Brooklyn with limited space, it would have involved me to, you know, look in different areas. It was kind of a bit pricey. For me, like Long Island, you know, mm-hmm. or other areas. So I started to research, um, you know, moving out of the state. And I had a client who um, always encouraged me to come to Atlanta. She, she said, oh, they need hairstylists in Atlanta. This is since in the 1989, around that time. Oh, you need to come to Atlanta. But I wasn't really interested at first. Until I um, was this this um, vacationing with my family in Disney World in Florida, got bored and decided to visit Atlanta and was very pleased about what I saw. And I came here to Atlanta. I was kind of burnt out from the industry and I tried to open up a restaurant with my sister. It didn't work well because, you know, that was not me. Right. You know? So I um decided to you know become part of a salon here in Lithonia and I started working there. At the at that time the other members of my family, like my niece and my daughter and so on, started to come up under me in in the um here industry and I decided, well, I gotta do something, you know, big because it was um about three or four of us that was in the industry at that time. So I started to look for a place to start my own business. And I came, I was just um, wandering down one street one day and stopped at the traffic light and this little old building just loomed up in front of me. And I said, something said, oh, this is, ideal place for your salon and I pulled up in the driveway and I got the number at that time my husband was in New York and you know we had a little experience in renovating properties and I called him and I told him I said I think I found the place for the salon and he said well you know I trust you go ahead and <laughs> go ahead and, 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 and do the contract and I'll see when I come well, when he came back and he saw what I had um put my money on or <laughs> put our money on. <laughs> he wasn't too happy at all. <laughs> he, and I'm saying to him, I say, oh, Bernard, can't you see it? I was so excited because I <laughs> saw the vision. I said, can't you see it? He said, no, all I see is a bunch of work. <laughs> that's what I see. <laughs> oh, wow. And that's where it began. Well, I have to say to the listeners, she has vision because if you go to the salon, it is beautiful. And you have done an awesome job with that salon. It's, it's really, really beautiful. Now, I know you have like a family business. Is it you and is you and your daughters? Yes. Oh, my that's, daughter. that's wonderful. Now, is there any area that in this in the hair industry that you specialize in, or do you all just do everything? Well, I do specialize in weaves and hair replacement, hair loss. Mm -hmm. That is my passion. My daughter, she specializes in shortcuts, trendy cuts, and makeup. She can draw some faces. Wow. (laughs) Wow. She can totally transfer you, you know? And um, my passion is the um, is just doing camouflage, making right. people beautiful. People who think that all is gone when the hair is gone, you know. Right. But as I say, my slogan is: hair is not lost 
at dawn to nail when you have hair loss, you know. Right, right. And I will like the listeners to know, I mean, um, we've worked together on a lot of things and you really introduced me to her replacement what, 10, 12 years ago, and yeah. um, we shared information back and forth, and even with the DVDs, um, the technical work on the interlock and the hair replacement, I tell people all the time, that's you. So um, I just want people to know when you um, talk with Donna or if you're listening and you have hair loss issues, I get a lot of people on Facebook that will write to me and ask me, um, do you know somebody or can you help me with my hair loss? And, you know, even when I was in Alabama, we would send people from Alabama to you. So if you're listening today and you have hair loss issues, you definitely need to contact Donna. And Donna, what is your contact number at your salon? My contact number is 404-534-9818. Four zero four five three four nine eight one eight. Now you know, like I know, the industry has changed so much today, and I know you believe in education. What advice would you give stylists and students listening to this interview about the importance of education? Oh, that's how I made it this far. Every class that <laughs> was available to me in my career that I could have made myself available. Um, I was there. And, you know, there comes a time where you may think that you overdid it with the classes because I, I feel that way too. But it, it's never enough or it's never too much because um, I made myself available for shows, classes, anything in relation to what my passion is, which is the hair replacement and and hair loss. And, you know, sometimes I would get the feeling that if... I might get the feeling that um, I don't, you know, I don't need to, but just as I get that feeling, I go to a show or whatever, and I, you know, would come up upon something that I can put with what I already know and make me even better, take me to another level, you know? Right. So education is is of importance, and it's it's always, it's always a plus. Now, you know, like I know, we've paid $1,500, $1,700, dollars for um, hair replacement classes. Yeah. And a lot of people think four and $500 per class is expensive. And I tell them... Ten years ago, to take a one-day class or a two-day class was fifteen hundred dollars. So that's right. What can you kind of talk about that briefly about the prices of hair loss classes? Because people really think four and five hundred dollars is a lot of money for a hair loss class, and you have another group of people saying you're giving it away because it's worth so much more than that. Yes, it's worth it's worth a whole lot, and um, here. Hair loss and hair replacement is an art. And what people are looking for is to be restored as closely as possible to their natural looks. And it takes an art to do that. They, the materials or getting there to that is expensive. I've done classes. I've been paying a hundred, a uh, thousand, fifteen hundred dollars for classes when I started 20 years ago. So I don't think that it's um, it's overpriced. I understand that the economy may dictate in certain ways, but it's still a need. For a lot of people, it's not only a cosmetic need. It's, 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 um, it's a rest is a need for restoration, you know, for restoration to the self-esteem and for, um, because hair loss is a very, very serious matter. And it is becoming even more prevalent in the community because of the various things that people are doing to their hair now that may not necessarily be good for their hair. But um, as far as the pricing for classes, 
I've been paying that price 10, 20 years ago, 15, 20 years ago. Even for, I, I had my, even my first beef in class for um, the interlocking um, system. When I took that class, I paid $1,000 for one day. Right. And that was like almost 20 years ago. Right. Mm-hmm. Well, and the other thing I wanted to mention, um, the people need to know, like your mag- the magazines that have featured your business, was it because of the services you offer? Was it because of your beautiful decor? Or was it because the popularity, you had so many clients, or was it a mixture of everything? Can I hear that again? With the magazines that you were featured in. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of them approach you. Was it because of your decor? Was it because of the services you were offering? Were you doing a lot of client, your work? How did they approach you? What was it about? Because a lot of people want to be in magazines and they don't know how. And I know a lot of magazines approached you when you were featured. So was it for your hair services, your decor, how beautiful it was, the number of clients you were doing, or a combination of everything? It was a combination of everything, right? It was a combination of everything. It was a combination of my creativity and and reference from uh, references from other people. It was it was because I was doing something that was unique at that time. Um, the decor, the the ambience of the place, the the, the curb appeal. Well, I first got um, um, published in Essence in 1997 because the way I had constructed the salon was really really nice. It, it's being unique and different, right? You know? mm-hmm. And it caught a lot of people's eyes, mm-hmm. and um, Essence just called me, and it started from there. But then there were other magazines, because I was doing the hair replacement, and I was, you know, addressing the needs of people in a special way. I was featured in a lot of other different magazines. Right. Okay, and I'm going to wrap it up, because I know you are very, very busy. Um, two things, men that are listening to this interview and think hair replacement is something for women. What would you say to the men that are listening if they have hair loss issues? Well, you know, the the men are more fortunate than the women. (laughs) (laughs) But I know that there's some men that are still conscious about hair, right? Right. And there is help for men too, you know? And um, they can do hair replacement, too. But the difference between men and women, men are fortunate because, you know, bald is a style. Right, (laughs) right, right, right. (laughs) Acceptable in their arena, you know. But men always want flowing hair on women, you know. Right. So there is help for men, too. Right. And I would encourage any male hairstylists listening or barbers that are listening, you should really look into getting to hair replacement because men are just as sensitive as women about their hair loss, um, a lot of them. Now, one last question before you go, Donna. What advice do you have for young stylists getting into the business today? Well, for young stylists getting into the business, I would say never lose sight of your passion. I started this um, profession for the love of it first. And then you invest enough into the passion and the money will follow. Right. Can you say that again to them? I really want people to hear that. Okay. Uh, What I would say to young stylists entering eh, this profession is to enter it for the passion first. You know, passion will lead you to the money. you got to enter it for the passion. I entered it for my love for it. And as, um, as I feel now, even after 30 years, I'll be going down with it. Because um, <laughs> this is funny. 
in 2000 when they had that big scare about the Y2K, Y2K, you got to be um, prepared and people was doing bunkers and all kinds of things. I told one of my clients, I said, girl, one thing I'll be assured of is that when Y2K come, you can be in this chair and I'll be behind it and we'll be going down together. <laughs> That's how much I love it. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. And I thank you so much. But before we go, can you give the name of your salon, the address, and telephone number just one last time? Okay. The name of my salon is Don Janelle Hair Salon. D-O-N, which is the beginning of my name, and J-A-N-E-L-L-E, which is my daughter's middle name. Don Janelle Hair Salon. And you can find us on the website by on on the on the internet by www.donchanel.com, dot com, right? And um, my phone number is four zero four five three four nine eight one eight. And you're located at at forty four fifty seven Covington Highway in Decatur. Okay. Thank you so much, Donna. I really appreciate you sharing your information and your knowledge with us today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Tony. Thank you for having me. All righty. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you for listening to the Tony Love Show. For more information about what we do, you can visit TonyLove.com, www.t-o-n-i-l-o-v-e, Tony Love. Com. Also, be sure to join our group, the TonyLoveGroup.com, so you can continue to receive information. Um, we offer inside industry information, free seminars for our members, testimonial DVDs, and so much more. So be sure to join the TonyLoveGroup.com.